Welcome everybody. We have something special here for you. Mega database, chess base, all the products everybody has and everybody needs to use. And we have some essential functions, which everybody needs to know how to do them effectively, quickly, and in the best matter. So here we are. This is the chess base shop. You all of you know it already. You get there from the chess base news site and there's the online shop or you just click on shop and here's the home intro. And this is what we're talking about, the mega database 2024. So what we are doing is we log in. We're already logged in in our account. So this is the very first thing you have to do because your downloads are in your account, obviously. And then we click on my downloads. Once this is done, we can see all the products we have. Now to get a bit more specific, since we want Mega Database 2024, we click on databases and here we are. This is the Petrov Defense, for example, but the Mega Database, we just click on it one time and these are the download options. So this is the very first point where you might go like, huh, but what is correct for me? So I'll tell you. So I assume most of you have Chessbase 17. Very good. Now, Chessbase 17, as you already know, has a new format. It's the 2CBH format. And uh, we know about the CBH format, which is on Chessbase 16. So since you have Chessbase 17, we just click on this button here one single time and it will go to the download folder up here. I'm already downloading the German version, so I'm just doing this twice, don't get irritated. But here I'm downloading it twice, so I will stop this right now because this is the one which we downloaded for the German version. Us Germans have to know about this product too, of course. Now, if you have Chessbase 16, you still have the CBH format and there's the option for the search booster. The search booster makes things quicker. So if you have Chessbase 16, you click on this specific folder here. And finally, we have the setup for the mega database. And this is for even older versions. You can just click on it and it will uh, download this for you. And one thing about this, this is your key. And if you click on copy serial number, you just hover over it with your mouse. You click on it. Well, you think like, well, I clicked on it, nothing happens. Well, this is supposed to be like this. Nothing is going to happen. It is just copied. Uh, into the, what is it called, Thomas? Windows Clipboard. Windows Clipboard, exactly, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. Uh, and this means that once this is installed right here, like uh, once you have it installed, you can use the serial key to uh, register the program. Did I forget anything? Or was this more or less everything? Uh, maybe I should point out the first one, set up Mega Database yes. 2024. This is uh, the CBH format. Um, and this can be used in Chessbase uh, 14, 15, and 16 also. Uh, all these programs use the old uh, CBH format. And the two CBH is only for Chessbase 17. Perfect. And our download is done, so we will follow up with the next step. So we have downloaded the Mega database setup successfully. It's in your download folder. And all we have to do now is double click it. This will launch the installer. Here we can choose the language of the installer, not of the program. Don't worry, you can make too many things wrong, but just choose your preferred language here. We stay with English. A little bit of information. We just click on next. And this is the uh, interesting point because we recommend as for you as a normally you're a Windows user, we recommend to use the C file, the one where your system is installed in. And then we have the users, your name, the documents, folder, chess base, and in basis is where we have the mega database. Makes sense, right? Looks a little bit like this here. And, um, but there is something which uh, Thomas wanted to mention about uh, if you have a OneDrive file uh, or folder. Yes, um, on, on some Windows systems, uh, um, you have decided uh, when, when a computer was new that uh, a OneDrive folder is your standard uh, folder for documents. And then it will also uh, show up here as destination folder, but it's not a good idea to, to, to put a uh, very large database into the OneDrive folder synchronizing data and doing a lot of things you don't want to. 
So in this case, um, you can click on browse and uh, um, select another uh, installation folder. Best is a normal documents folder mm -hmm. on your hard drive. There we go. So, but this is, I think it applies to 80 to 90% of all our users. So we just click on install and we will fast forward to the next step. And we're done. So this is the last point which we need for our database. And we can also have this little check mark in the open database. We just click on finish and it should automatically open. So this is the mega database uh, as we all know and like it. And uh, there's a couple of more important things which we have to absolutely yeah, mention because everybody should know. So this is uh, how it looks like. We have the mega database, some of our installed programs, and here's the old mega database 2023. <laughs> 2023, not that old, but of course old enough to have a new <laughs> database with over 10 million games. And here we can see the symbol is a crown. Now, why is that? Because this is our reference database. Everybody should have a database as their reference for all their exercises because it's essential. And how we do this is easy. We just go to the Mega Database 2024. We right click on it and we go to properties. And in properties, we have a couple of options here. I mean, we can of course choose our own little symbols as we want to, but in this case, we want to really point out that this is a reference database, reference DB. So what we do is put a check mark inside here and then we have this crown symbol and it automatically puts the new database 2024 into the reference as we can see here. And now the database of 2023 is not the reference anymore. This is the new reference. But what we do is just we open a board and here we all know our reference uh, full uh, tab here. We click on it and then we can see after just a couple of moves played, these are the newest, most up-to-date reference games played. Yeah. One of the most essential things is, of course, the updating of the database because we get new games every, is it every week or every two weeks? And it's every week, yeah. Every single week we get new games, roughly 5,000. And in order to do so, we do the following. We go down to the bottom left. And here we see already, this is what we have to click on, new games. It will connect to the server. This will also always take a little bit of time because it needs to connect to the server directly. And here we go. Now, all of those folders which we can see here, 2020, 21 to 23, these are all already part of the Mega Database 2024. We're not subscribed with them, but that is totally fine because they're all available. We don't need to care about those. We can see thousands and thousands of different games here. That's not too important for us. What is important for us though, is how to update the Mega Database in the next year. Here we have six updates since the launch. We, we launched it in October, November in this time, right? Yes. And uh, <clears throat> since then we had six updates. Here we had, of course, a bigger update of over 20,000 games. And then, as I mentioned earlier already, roughly around the 5,000 games. So if we all want to have those, we subscribe to them. And how to do this, uh, so I don't make an error, uh, Thomas will describe now. Yes. And now we, we mark our update Megabase 2024. And as next step, we click on activate subscription. So now it's now it's really fine if we uh, have already the, the number in, in the Windows uh, clipboard, because then you don't have to type in anything. You just get, get your number directly. And then you can enter the capture. You don't need to use uh, any of the um, big letters. It's automatically putting in the capitals. Okay, we have subscribed and now we try download games. And there's also an entry download selected entries. 
I will explain later what this means. For now, we just click on download game. So all we have to do is click on this uh, update mega database 2024 up there, and it will automatically download all the six folders. So we don't have to manually like mark all the six updates, right? Yes. Okay. We see yeah. we see it in this uh, uh, in this box that it selects now the, the six updates. Perfect. Okay, and we're done. This is the amount of games saved. If there would be double games, they would tell us and then we could like take action. Just in case you're wondering, does it always take like a couple of minutes? Normally it should take a couple of minutes the very first time you do this. In the next updates, it will go far quicker. Okay, now I, can, I now show uh, what, what, what this other um, button means. So I go back to new games. Okay. So now we're talking about uh, how to what the button download selected entries means. Yes, exactly. Download selected entries. For instance, if I mark one of this uh, downloads, for instance, this one, maybe I'm interested in the St. Louis splits and St. Louis rapid games and want to have it in a separate database, I can do it, for instance, this way. I, I mark this update. And then I click on Download Selected Entries. And now I have a, a, a choice. I can append to an existing database. I don't want it. I want to keep this a single database. I click OK. Ah, and it makes it just... Uh, that was it already, right? Yeah. And you, you see, as you see, there's a message. See, see Users Documents Chess Based Download Subscription. Mm -hmm. Okay. We... we uh, Close this window. There we go. And then if you look at your folders at your database pass, you have this pass uh, download subscription. And there you see there is the Megabase update 3. And it's two times. I can explain why. Because if you now change the view to details, which often is a, is a good idea, you see um, one of this has the old CBH format for users of Chessbase 16 or, or 15. You can also use it in Chessbase 17. And you have also the 2CBH format, which is only for Chessbase 17. But this uh, download um, puts both formats into your subscription folder. Yeah, and if you want now to, to look at the games, you can double click this and uh, look there for, for instance, for tournaments, or you can look for players. For instance, here Magnus Carlsen, and you see these are um, the games from Magnus which are delivered with this games update. No game lost, that's how we know him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thomas.